Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, a tale of two iPads, <laughs> one good and one not so good. Plus, Apple's making a ton of money, a solution for iOS keyboard haters, and a very special wallpaper pack. All that, and let's study some color theory. I promise it's more fun than it sounds. It on purple? iPad Today, it could be. iPad Today is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. With over 28 million high-quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, and video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off on your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use the offer code iPadToday1113. And by 99designs, the world's largest graphic design marketplace. 99designs connects businesses seeking quality, affordable designs with a community of more than 250,000 graphic designers. Visit 99designs.com slash iPad today to receive a free power pack upgrade valued at $99. And by audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Welcome to iPad Today, the show where we talk about iPad Sarah Lane there. I'm Leo Laporte. And look what I have in my hot little hands. Wait You're us. still waiting on yours. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to do a little unboxing, and then we can talk about my sad, sad existence? Yes. This is an Let's iPad. Let's do good news first, and then Air. bad news. Yes. And, you know, the reason I have one is because John Slanina, our studio manager, wasn't even going to buy one himself, went to the Apple Store on Friday, November 1st. That's when they became available. Correct. Got in line and got me one. And I told him, if you get there, get me a 64 gig uh, black mm -hmm. iPad Air, and ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, without further ado, <laughs> it is the new iPad Air. Now, now compare this to your old, you have a third generation iPad, right? That's right. So compare this to yours, because I, I think it's a little thinner. It's a little lighter. Oh. Oh. Well. Is this the first time you've held one? I ha yeah, it is. Really? Yep. Yeah, because... Do you, does it notice? See, I, to me, it's not that different. I expected it to be, whoa, it's almost floating out of my hand. It's, you know, it's still a pound. There's not that sense of when we went from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5 for all you iPhone people. That was very light. Not only, yeah, was it longer, but it felt like it was made right. of air. This is quite light, but there's not such a difference between the two. It you know what's lovely, really though. good on this is the screen. It, it seems to be that Apple is using... Indium Galide Zinc. It is actually, oh, it's called... O Ofer it's Ixo. Ca it's called... What does the O stand for? It's called... Oxygen? It's called... Indium, gal indium Galanide... In indium Gallium Zinc Oxide, Oxide. Semiconductor Materials. From the amorphous silicon compounds used in previous iPads. Yeah, so it's a better display. And it is, it feels, <laughs> it really is a better display. It feels better, uh, it looks better. Um, this is, okay, so obviously it's thinner, narrower in the sense that these bezels on the left, it's the same size screen, 10.9 inches, uh -huh. but the bezels on the left and right are shrinked. Now, so you have more display. Actually. Some people say they can hold this in one hand, and actually on Twit we actually asked people, and all of them could, I cannot. Okay, well, if you can't, I definitely can't. Way to go, by the way. Way to <laughs> go. iPad it. down. <laughs> Okay, excuse me for a moment. I'm going to have to crawl <laughs> onto the floor to get my iPad. Wow. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't be we able to do that vacuum. anyway. We should vacuum. But okay. my hands are so small that I can't even really palm an iPad mini. Yeah. I, I can palm a mini. I kind of can in portrait mode, but yeah. I don't really. So it's not as if that's some feature that I've really wanted so that, from the So that won't be iPad. a selling point for you is that you could hold this in one hand. Nah. It was one of the things that I was considering... Uh, Maybe I will prefer an Air because the thing I like about the iPad is I, I can hold the iPad Air in one hand. Yeah. So I do like that feature. Uh, anyway, it's I don't know where all my wires went. I should never get on my hands and knees during a show. I think that's probably. I a think safe. they taught us that at the at Television Academy. That's just put, just try not to crawl around like a baby during yeah, a show. Yeah. He said that. It's a good rule of thumb. There's Basic. always exceptions. It's kind of fundamental. 
Sure. What are you looking for? <laughs> looking for my. Oh, I found it. My wire. Oh, that. See now right. I can. Uh, now, now you I can, can hear what's going on. Plug in. So, all right. Now yeah. here's another problem. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. None of the stands we have work. <laughs> Wait, I thought it did. Well, it kind of works. I'm going to put it in the stand. This is our this is our beautiful toilet paper stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really. Well, one of the reasons I wanted to go with a toilet paper stand is I think the other stand would be even worse. Well, yeah, because that was custom made. Right. It was, and... it was uh, it, just to fit it. But anyway, it is lighter. It's 0.4 pounds lighter. You know, you can always go back to the air desk stands. We've got two of them. Yeah. That's, it's, that's uh, okay. It's uh, a little narrower. I think the screen is actually better here. Hide my, uh, you don't need to know my... By the way, this is something I think Apple did right with iOS 7, is they really strongly encourage you to have a passcode. It's, it's, you have to actively say, I don't want a passcode. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's uh, gives you a, a lot good of, thing. Gives you a lot of uh, opportunities. Yeah. Uh, it's very much faster. You can really feel the speed. Um, you know, and remember I didn't like the zoom in and the zoom out oh, thing? Oh, do I ever. Yeah, well, it's faster and smoother on these newer devices. It bothers the, you less? It bothers me much less. You know, oh. it, it really zooms in and zooms out in a fluid you're, enough you know, way. You your, um, your shot over there is very murky. What do you mean murky? I mean, look at your whites are not even white. I don't know if that's you our camera or your... You want my whites to your... be whiter? I can, uh, I can change something. Well, it's just... Uh, it's is just, that better? Well, I'm not sure if you want it up that far. I'm just saying it's something so that... so hard to work with. I well, don't you know, this is we should have tested it before the show. Brian? Well, you, I couldn't. I well, had it in a that's, box. That, that's too bright. Okay. That is something very annoying about the, <laughs> the control center. It's bright. Is that you test your brightness and then you don't actually let me, really uh, see Let me open like something with, so. a white, with a white page and we'll see how it looks. Yeah. But you feel, you could kind of tell it's faster, right? Don't yeah. you feel like it's a little faster? I feel like it's very snappy, yeah. yeah. It feels very snappy. I'm happy with it. You're trying to find something white, but that's not it. I am <laughs> creating a document. That will be white. I will use a blank <laughs> landscape mode document. Wonderful. That's as white as white can be. Yeah, it doesn't look so is bad. Is that good? I think so. All right. So, can I talk about what happened with my iPad Air? Why don't you have one? So, a lot of a lot of things had to go wrong in order for me to actually be sitting here right now telling the story. But I will But they did apparently. I will explain them one they by all one. All went wrong. Number 1, the day that Jammer B, John, got you your iPad. Yes. I was under the impression that I was getting one as well. Yes. Lisa uh, texts me that day, Friday, November 1st, and says, turns out he can only get so many he's in the store. There's we a two, pers two iPad limit. Yes. Per we can't get you one. And I said, eh, no big deal. I'll just order online and I'll pick up on the store later. Okay. That's fine. Fair enough. And so she said, fine. And that was the end of it. It was before TNT, it was in the morning, so I knew I, I, yeah, yeah, I was getting in there uh, uh, quickly enough. Ordered the iPad that I wanted, ordered uh, a nice little red case for it, and Apple sends you an email and says, we'll let you know, well, it's processing, we'll let you know when it's ready for in-store pickup. Oh, Great. Fair enough. About, oh, I don't know, three, four hours later, I get my email. We're ready for you. Oh, good. And that I don't was live. Quick. Yeah, and I and I said I wanted to go to the downtown San Francisco Apple Store. It's the biggest store, but it's, it's not the only it's right, one in town. Right there on Market, or have they moved yet? Uh, no, it's still there. Still on Market. Yeah, now. and it's the closest one to where I live, and it's kind of just a fun one to go hang out in every once in a while. And I said, oh, great. Well, I'll just go to the gym, and as soon as I'm kind of coming back from the gym, I'll swing around and pick up my iPad, and everything would be great because I didn't want to have it at the gym with me. Yeah. While I'm on the treadmill, running. Yes. I get a phone call. Yes. Normally, I don't pick up the phone at the gym. It's a little bit of a faux pas, but I figure, eh, why not? I don't You're recognize all this alone. number. alone. There's no one there. I, I enter the phone, and who is it? Who? But a uh, employee of the Apple store downtown. One who of says, the fine genie eyes. Who says, oh, Ms. Lane, um, we're uh, he talk very like that? sorry. Did he well, really he, talk like he, that? He had apology voice. I we am are, so we we more just polished. we didn't. I am so sorry. Yeah, he was a little we bit. His voice was a little problem. A little here. shaky. We've decided that you don't deserve. No, iPad Air. no. He said we've had such high demand today uh, that we don't have an iPad for you. Oh, somebody blew it. And I said, no, Aren't no. Aren't they supposed to put them aside? I said, no, no. You do because I've got my confirmation in my email saying you're ready for me. And he says, yeah. Somebody blew it. I know that we did that, yeah. but we don't actually have it. Oh. So if you want to wait a couple of weeks, we'll be getting more in stock. And I said, it was like a... He it said was, a couple more weeks? It was like an episode of Seinfeld where I'm like, you know how to take the reservation. You don't know how to hold the reservation. And so I'm, I'm on the treadmill. 
I'm so mad that I'm just like, I'm just going to run faster. So I was just like, well, now what do I do? And he says, well, if you'd like to cancel your order, you can just order online for delivery, and then it should come between, uh, like, two and three days. And I said, well, why don't you just do that for me? And he says, we can't. You have to do it yourself. So I said, fine. So I go home, cancel my in-store pickup, buy the darn thing again. You have to get refunded and then buy it again. At that point, my credit card company says, fraud! Oh, Shuts no. down my credit card. Oh, no. So then there was a conversation oh, this, that had to happen a, with that. This is a modern... Oh, yeah. This is November 1st. Trial. It is now November yes. 7th. So a lot has happened since then. There's more? Finally. We finally. We only have an hour show, dear. I know. I'm just, I just have to get this out. <laughs> get it out. Where else Vent. Can I, where else can I tell the Vent. story but here? Vent. Finally, I, uh, you know, the, the process goes through. I get a UPS um, note that it will be delivered to my home end of day on November 6th, that's yesterday. Yesterday. So I, I cancel everything. Very good news. I don't leave the house. Yes. I'm like, you know, end of day means it could come at any point. Wonderful. I'm sitting, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Finally, at around 6 p.m., I'm like, I mean, mm, where how is late do they deliver? Yeah. The mm. UPS tracking uh, site says uh, something called exception, late train. <laughs> so I get on the phone the with UPS. Late? Yeah, there's an iPad train, apparently. I didn't know that either. I get on the phone with and UPS. And you're on the caboose. And she says, yes, Ms. Lane, it was on a late train, and so we're going to have to reschedule your they ship iPad these delivery. By train? And I said, how late was it? Because I'll just go wherever it is yeah. and pick it up. Yeah. No. So it's still... It's in the depot. It's on a late train to nowhere. Well, Sarah, I've got some very good news for you. See those so two guys it. sitting over there? Are they, I know, they're very amused. They work for Apple Retail, and in their hands, absolutely you're, nothing. You're so mean. Did, did you not get the... So oh, mean. I, it's terrible. Don't throw I our guests so under the bus. I am so sorry. Don't show their faces, please. We... <laughs> We don't want to get them in trouble with the mothership. Well, that's terrible. And the thing is, is like, I know that Did you Did you say, say uh, you know who I am? Sarah Lane, host of iPad Today? Thought about it, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't thought think Thought about it with the Apple genius, and then I thought, the people at the gym around me will hear me say this, <sighs> and I won't be able to live with myself. But I thought about it. Mm. I still don't have an iPad Air. I understand that this is the epitome of a first world problem. Yeah. But I still am just mad. Because it shouldn't have been you. this hard. And, and you do have to host the show now with yeah. a, I got a third generation. I have a third gen crappy iPad, pad. Not air. With a with a with a no with air. A what has a nice wallpaper of, there? Of you got fifteen dollar cherry on top wine. There's a wine called cherry on top. Yeah, it's something really bad. It doesn't sound good. Ca sweet white wine from California. I like the price tag. On it. <laughs> like Is this somebody's wallpaper, or did mine. you take that picture? I took that photo. That was you're at my proud phone. of that, hey? I like it. <laughs> It just it's, so, bring, so it's you, sort of just it's a snapshot into my your life. life this is your life crackers wine little brie yeah and some salmon this is after she found out <laughs> there's no <laughs> ipad when you don't iPad have ipads store. this is the second best perfect day so that's that's my story well now you have a chance to Blows. instead of getting an ipad air getting an ipad mini with retina display oh no 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 the ipad air has been ordered and paid for. It's in the train depot. My credit card has been charged. Yeah, no, it's there. In fact, that's it's the just... problem is you're frozen because you've actually purchased it. It's just at the train station. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you getting it today, you think, when you get home? Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be delivered sometime when I'm here. So I'll have to go is pick it Is it coming it up here or to your house? No, it's in my house. Yeah, because it was supposed to be yesterday when I was home. Yeah. So... So I guess the moral of the story is don't just trust have, people. Just have Kramer uh, pick it up for you. Okay. You could just you could just come over and pick it up. Are, are you talking about Cosmo Kramer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your neighbor. He's, he's not real. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you're. You, I feel bad for you because you know what the iPad Air is all it's cracked up to be, and, and oh, then some. That's so nice. But here is I want to say something because right. the, really the question is not should I buy an iPad Air if you don't have an iPad? Yes. If you have an iPad first generation, yes. Second generation, yes. But what if, like you and me, you have a third generation iPad? It's Retina. So our screens are, are still pretty good. Um, should you upgrade? And I think probably you should because of the speed differential. That Many people complained about the third generation iPad because it was the first Retina iPad. Mm -hmm. And they said it felt a little sluggish because it's trying to push a lot of pixels through a very narrow straw. Yeah. Now, if you have a fourth generation iPad, I think you probably don't need to upgrade. Well. I wouldn't rush out to spend. I mean, it's only been a year, right? 
should you run out and get an iPad Air? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, if I had a fourth gen, I don't. I think, I mean, we obviously would because of the show. Well, wait a minute, though. Not so fast, All right. Pipsqueak. I did not buy a fourth generation iPad. I was very happy with the third, and I felt like I don't need to buy the fourth. Neither did you, for that matter. But and you're spending my money. You could have. But I know. See, I'm very generous sometimes. You could have gone out and... Uh, and but that's uh, because on the outside, there was no difference. There was a processor bump. Right. That's all it was. We didn't feel like that justified... Well, us getting fourth gen iPads, or really recommending that anybody else right. needed to either. And and that partly that's because we never two or before. we never felt like the third generation was too slow. Frankly, I no, mean, it didn't bother me. But Until people complained about it. It really wasn't. Yeah, is it an slow? Issue. Is it a little sluggish for the iOS seven? For me, yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's it's uh, l less of a joy to use. Um, but still, I mean, it still works. It's just less of a joy to use. So hopefully Are you uh, by... disappointed? There's no fingerprint scanner on this. Yeah, thing? yeah. but we've talked about that. I mean, yeah, yeah I think. The problem is, is it's not. It's almost not so much that I'm just actively annoyed. It's that I'm constantly pressing my thumb right. to try to. <laughs> right. You know, when my iPad Unlock. is locked, Unlock. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. I know how this works. Hey. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, isn't it? Oh yes. Uh. Well, I I like it, but I have to say, my home uh, has always I, the my home iPad has always been or since the Mini came out, has been the Mini, and I, I'm looking forward to the Mini with Retina. Now, I have to say, multiply your problem, the problems you've had with the iPad Air, times 10 for the Mini with Retina. I don't, oh, yeah. They still haven't even announced a date. No. Which, and they said late November. I'm going to guess Black Friday, because that's <laughs> as late as you can get in November, November 29th. That's so late, which though. Which, I just want to point out, happens to be my birthday. Is it? November 29th, huh? Okay. Just saying. What are we gonna? Are we gonna have a big party? Just saying. Well, wait. No, I won't be here. It's a Friday. No, we, none of I'll us. I'll be will in be line here. at the Apple Store. You won't. It's Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I do not want to get in the car and go to an Apple Store on the day after Thanksgiving. I do not want to get in the car at all. I want to stay at home and eat turkey sandwiches and watch football. You know, this is the first year in 18 years that I will also be eating turkey at Thanksgiving. Because you didn't used to eat Back bird. in the business of turkey, <laughs> you everybody. I'm you didn't used to eat birds. So Are you excited? excited? Oh, my gosh. Do you know how many turkey sandwiches I'm going to eat? I'm going to eat nine. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to eat nine of them. This has nothing to do with iPads, unless no. there's an app for this. This is totally just, you're just Light listening rye. to me when I have Light it. rye. Okay. Uh, you want, of course, a little turkey. Now, I'm of the I opinion. I want a lot of turkey. You, well, but well, remember, you're turkey. also going to put some stuffing on there. Ooh. And you're going to put some cranberry sauce on there. Eee, come on and then now. You're, no, and I'm not done. Uh, and then some Russian dressing on there. Oh. Now, if you want to junk it up, you could put lettuce on there. Oh, please. Who but I would say if you happen to have some sweet potato with mushrooms in it, and mushrooms, I mean marshmallows, put that on the top. And then you put the top layer on. It's about that big, but if you go, you can get it down to bite size. And then, mm, 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 that's, good, that's good stuff. I like everything about your idea except the cranberry sauce. Oh, no, it's good. Mm, well, we'll see. We'll see. You know what I... Uh, they, nine of them. In, nine sandwiches. Nine sandwiches. I love. That's the best thing about Thanksgiving. I'm very excited. This, this, Leftovers. This, the one thing that I've always felt like, you know, I feel like I'm kind of wow, left out on Friday because everybody's eating their sandwiches. For those who don't know, Sarah uh, doesn't eat birds. Well, now I do. She lifts Only a couple of them. Cats. Only every so A couple so of times often. a year, you'll eat yeah. a bird. On, tur on, tur on turkey day, I'm going to have some turkey. You should have some turkey. I'm going to. I'm... Pretty mashed excited. potatoes. It's I've gonna, not tried it's, that. It's That's like wild. my Christmas. Yeah. Mashed potato. Oh yeah, mashed potatoes That's on wild. a sandwich. That's very uh, that experimental. It, be, because it's basically just big fluffy butter. That's all it is. <laughs> butter, yeah. And who doesn't like butter and bread? I think you got to see everybody in the chat room agrees. You got to have cranberry <laughs> sauce on the turkey sandwich. Okay. If you okay, I, if the cranberry sauce know. bothers see, you, know, put a little know. cream cheese in with the cranberry oh, sauce. But now that's weird. In my opinion, light rye, Russian dressing. And then the rest is, you know, you can mix and match. You do what you want to do. You do what you, you feel like. Very excited about this. Yeah. This is just wonderful. I do wonderful. think that stuffing Thank and you for letting turkey us is a must. Just kind of talk this through <laughs> here. And on then the, show. the next day, you roll into the Apple Store and you get your iPad Mini with Retina. But I got to tell you, if you, you actually if, have to roll in, I you think you're going to be rolling here. into a line maybe you at look midnight. Like a, you look like a big burrito. Full because of I'm turducken. telling you, I think they cannot produce these in enough supply. I think it's going to be. A, a shortage on these things. Well, they're obviously waiting as long as possible. 
but that's because I'm sure yeah. they're making yeah, them yeah, right yeah. now. Sure. They're going, oh yeah, I'm quick, sure it's, it's a mad quick. Come on, elves. Absolute mad. Move it. It's a mad dash. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure they hope to have some number, maybe a million or two in the store, but that's going to go like that. It and, will. Uh, I will. And so you, there will be, uh, a sh I think, shortly, just as there is a little bit with the air. Now, you know, it's kind of funny because In there store was shortage, that's for sure. a website where you could track iPad Air availability. You know about this, right? Yeah, I saw this. Yeah. Then Apple shut it down. Well, because, yeah, they don't. They don't want they you like to know. They like an air of secrecy. <laughs> a mystery. Mystery. That's the Apple fun does thing. have an availability tracker, but it doesn't give you the information that you might want, like the size and the color. It just says, yes, this store has a few airs. You might want to stop by. Mm. But this would have been good for you. Mm. Uh, but they're gone. So, uh... Oh, one more thing we should mention. Okay. Uh, maybe it's in your news. But Target's giving people 200 bucks for their old iPads. Yes, I know. Even a one. I guess we'll talk about this now. Oh, okay. Save it for the news. <laughs> Pretend I all didn't right. mention it. It's all right. Do you want to talk about it now? Let's no. talk about it now. No, 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 Does no. It no matter? No. I think we have to get to the meat of the matter. What is the meat of the matter? It's the biggest news story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Twitter IPO. Kevin Rose is, an is another millionaire again. Wait, over. why are we talking about him? Because <laughs> he got money. He has money in the Twitter. Eh, so do a lot of people. He has Twitter stock. Anybody else I know? Yeah. Ev Williams is worth... Okay, so Twitter asked for $27 a share. By the time the market opened, it was over $40 a mm -hmm. share. I think it closed at something like $48 I think it was 46. Share. 46. Yeah. Uh, so a uh, big run-up on the Twitter uh, uh, stock price on its initial first day of a public uh, offering. Um, and I think a lot of people got very rich. The richest is Evan Williams, who has a significant number of shares. He is worth almost a billion, three billion dollars now. Excellent. Three, 44.90. There's 44.90. The so there stabilized. It's interesting how it stabilized at that price yeah. after 11 o'clock. Sure. Um, do you think it'll 73% jump over its uh, asking price? Do you think it'll uh, go up some more or go down left, right? I doubt we'll see it go up much more than that. It seemed like it's pretty stable yeah. right there. Yeah. I mean, most of most of all of that, and again, this is, you know, I'm sorry, this is just uh, midday. Who else you know, do we know that uh, day. made a lot of money off the Twitter IPO? Do you other people, in, like in our circle? I don't, who cares? It's not us. I mean, us. ugh, rich people. <laughs> Let's, I hate it. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> I'm, again, not part of the group. So, But I have a feeling that <laughs> around the country and the world now, there will be renewed interest in Twitter. The people who use Twitter, maybe sign up for Twitter and stopped using it, or people who've never used Twitter are going to be seeing all the headlines. Twitter makes lots of money. Sure, sure. And they're going to say, why, well, maybe I ought to try that Twitter thing again. Maybe it's different than the last time. Right, yeah, it. there's money involved yeah. and people in the ringing of the bell so and the stuff. It's, pr it's pretty much the case that Twitter is a, is on the iPad is probably the best way to do it, especially since you can have Twitter sitting if you're on a computer or a laptop on your iPad and you can kind of keep an eye on the Twitter feed that way, right? Yeah, I think really, you know, many people who watch iPad today use Twitter, have a Twitter client That's, of is choice. That, is that the one you use? This is TweetBot, uh, which is, which is I've talked about it many times. Uh, and what's kind of interesting about TweetBot is we're at a weird point in the TweetBot world because the iPhone app has been updated. TweetBot 3 came out uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah. And it's completely redesigned from the ground up. It's like very iOS 7 heavy. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this is, it's not a universal app though. This is the iPad version and it still kind of needs to catch up to the Twitter version. But some nice things about TweetBot that I just feel like for this iPad app are so worth it, especially if you're getting into Twitter for the first time or for whatever reason have never really liked Twitter or have tired of it. With TweetBot, you don't see ads, first yeah, of all. Yeah. So all that promoted tweet stuff that people mumble and grumble about, it's not part of the TweetBot experience. That's why Twitter <laughs> is trying to shut them down, by exactly. the way. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's just you're blissfully unaware of everything at right. all times. Right. I am not going to show you my list of muted people. Muted means... <laughs> people you don't want to hear no more. Muted means that either <laughs> for a specific period of time or forever, you mute them. They're no longer showing up in your timeline, but they don't know that you've muted them and it looks like you still follow them. Right. So it's a very passive-aggressive way to <laughs> shut somebody up. But let's be honest, sometimes friendships are delicate, and there's that. That's I, part of the TweetBot experience. It's, it's, I've loved it. It's loved the, it. the Twitter uh, equivalent of talk to the hand. 
Well, but no, because that would be that would be some sort of a confrontation. Ah, it's an invisible. This is a. I looked at my my Talk list. I looked at my Talk list of my muted people the other day, and I was like, I forgot about that guy. Whatever happened to him? Oh, you oh, you muted yeah. him. <laughs> he tweets forty times a day. <laughs> I just can't even, you know. Anyway, that's that's wow. why I like Tweetbot so wow. much. But you you use the native Twitter app. Well, that's you? the funny thing is uh, because Twitter has kind of deprecated the third party clients. They really, I think, for purposes of making money, and now that they're a public company, they really got to start focusing on that. They still haven't turned a profit ever. No. Um, they, uh, I think, they feel like they really don't want you to use things like Tweetbot because you don't see the ads, you don't see the embedded. But I gotta say, look, this is uh, this is uh, the native Twitter client, and if you thought that the graphical experience on Tweetbot left a little to be desired, this is horrible. Well, it's simplified. The, well, look at you all the margins. It. You hate it. It's too wide. You don't for, find that a joy to read. I could use these col make it columns or something like that. Well, but but do you think this looks better? And then I think it looks nice and connect simple. instead of just your at replies now. Connect has has who followed you. Now you can't change that. You can just have people who mentioned you, but it just, it has a lot of extra stuff in it. This is the discover tab. Wow. My discover stream is empty. Please tap to retry. There we go. There you go. This is what people, I've never seen that before. This is what people are talking about. Discover actually is something that's pretty cool and that you won't get in a third party app like Tweetbot. This is a right. Twitter original. Now you do get Trent, twins and twins in Tweetbot. Twins. But when you don't get a Tweetbot, is promoted. This is an ad. This trend. Yeah. Uh, w Washington versus Minnesota promoted by NFL. That's an ad. You're going to see eventually. I think more ads in the Twitter stream directly. Um, you know, Twitter just suggested you follow Charlie Sheen. Wait a minute. I. You know. You how, might want to. How think is it? I'm that. not following Charlie Sheen. Well, I don't know, but you're not. He, he's an actor, producer, and a winner. Yeah, something like that. I'm following him now. All right. Cool. Uh, Your life is about to get. You're gonna. You're gonna have to mute him. Now. Yeah. You have to mute him. Yeah. Now I gotta tell you one bad experience I had. Did you get an email from me saying would sure you join did. Twitter? Sure did. At every single email address I've ever had. Yeah. What was that? Twitter spam. So what ha What happened was is that I got an email to my like Twit email address saying Leo Laporte would like you to join Twitter. Yeah. And I'm, I could tell that it was. It was spam. Yeah, and, and of course I didn't do anything because I was like, whatever this is, is some sort of a weird thing. But then so, I got it to like the social hour email, I got it to the iPad today email, I got it to my Gmail account. So it's not as bad on iOS as it is on Android. You know, when you first, I installed a Twitter on a new phone, right? Yeah. And so the first thing it does is say, do you want to find friends? And it says, it asks you, can I upload your contact list? And it and it did, and these yeah. are people you might want to yeah. follow. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm not going to follow them because, for follow first of all, son. I'm following. Oh wow! You might want to follow. What is him. that a, a a shot glass? Action blocked. Yeah, he won't. He probably what? <laughs> he blocked you. He blocked me. Your kid blocks my son, you on Twitter. My son, that's awful. That's amazing. That's awful. The funny thing is, is like that's just that's just like that is that is very much a talk to the hand because everybody that's, knows that blocking somebody I didn't know. doesn't actually keep you from looking at his profile. I didn't you can still know. do that. That's awesome. Thanks, Henry. You, anyway, so you go, kid. So you you get that the contact list. It goes, then it brings you to invite friends, and this is what happened uh, to me. It says, "Would you like to invite these people?" And now here it says send. That's pretty clear. If I click this button, it's going to send a message to those people, right? And it, they're by the way, they're all selected by default. Uh, On please. Android, it doesn't say send. It says done. Uh huh. So I said, "Well, I'm done." Click that, uh, and there is no cancel button on Android. Uh, so the user interface tricked me into spamming. And the thing is, it's not just one email to Sarah Lane. It's it, an email to Sarah Lane at every address I have for you. Correct. That's why I had them all over the place. Now, it's so weird, though, that... Henry's not following me. I know you're still on that, aren't you? But it's like, it's so, it's so weird that... <laughs> Son of a God. It's not set up to just bypass when it can tell that... You're already a contact. Well, did you notice? It, it's it's you know? it's stupid. Did you notice that it would told me to follow people? I'm already following. It went into my contact list and says you should follow all of these people. Following, following. I can't follow Henry because he's blocked me. 
Well, that's so this is complete. That's not Twitter's problem. That's your family. No, but why issue. even put that in the list? Everybody, I'm already right. following all yeah. these people. Why highlight people that have why blocked you? Tell, why, why do that, Twitter? Why? I don't know. That kind of sucks. Why highlight it? Kind of right? sucks. Yeah. And then it's giving me the wrong advice, but it's telling me how to block people instead of. I didn't block Henry, he blocked me. You know, for the longest time, I thought when I blocked somebody, it meant that they couldn't look at my profile. You get a little lock thing. Not true. That's not true. That only happens if you have your Twitter account set to private overall. Sort of like the way Instagram works, because everybody has a private account you on know, Instagram these days. You know, I gotta tell you, though. It just means that you kind of, like, bump somebody from following you. They... And you won't see their at replies if they're okay. kind of, you know, if they're bugging you. But they can see your tweets. If you have public tweets, anybody has access to them. You That's can block important. People, people should to, understand just that. Just something to keep in mind. Mostly it's so they can't DM. So I can see Henry's tweets. He, he thinks he blocked me. Right. So now he's talking about all the parties and the girls. Cool. I can still see that. Yeah. Because what, what people don't understand is Twitter is public. Yes. If he has a private account, that's different. I guess he doesn't want me to direct message him. But that, you can't do that anyway. You don't have to block somebody. Me. Well, what does blocking do? It means that if you are harassing him, yeah, he will no longer see your at replies. Ah. And it actually, when when you get blocked, it dumps you off of the following list. So the idea is, is like, let's say somebody's harassing me. It happens all the time. Right. I block them. They just sort of stop seeing tweets from me because they're no longer following me. They can refollow me. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't think Henry Actually, understands any of that. Actually, no, they can't refollow me until I've unblocked them. <laughs> the point is, so, it's not really a block. No, because Twitter is public. It's basically creating you a tweet, barrier you're, you're between public. you and someone unsavory. So if you've never used Twitter, and I think that that's, there's probably a few of you who don't, if you look at it, you, it's, it's kind of baffling. It's like, And Twitter's done a lot of things like that, find friends, invite friends, mm -hmm. so that you can have a group of people you follow. Because unless you follow somebody, you won't see anything on Twitter. Choose who you follow carefully and unfollow liberally. If you follow somebody and what you're seeing is a lot of yicky stuff that you don't care about, they're talking about their lunch or whatever, just unfollow them. What really happens with we Twitter... We still use that as an example. We still use that. Lunch. You know, they're talking about their lunch or something dumb. People do that. I still say it. I know. It's just kind of funny because nobody really talks about that anymore. No, no, but people do talk about their lunch on not Twitter. Really, all the time. Not that much. That's just something that we say as an example. All right, I'll use a better example. All right. If they keep promoting their latest album... Uh, endlessly and you're bored with all the commercialism you can dump them unfollow liberally follow even more liberally because you want to build a list of interesting people also we... use lists because you can have a list that says news sources that you look at that list only and you're gonna get valuable stuff but I gotta say the most valuable Twitter client is not really even a Twitter client and I've said this before it's Flipboard so if you're not a, if you really want to if you want to use Twitter and use it well <laughs> download Flipboard, it's free. What it does, it makes a magazine of people you follow. So these are the people I follow on Twitter. And it makes a very nice magazine of things they link to. I don't, yeah, sometimes you'll see tweets, but mostly what you're seeing is interesting things like, hey, bacon deodorant. Hey. Hey, that people you know, that's got to be Henry, have tweeted, right? And I think that that's, <laughs> that, now, there you go, Twitter's got a little ad in there, but that's all right, I don't mind that. <laughs> this, to me is something that I think anybody can grasp the value of. Oh, so I follow people who link to interesting articles, and then I get a magazine out of Flipboard based on those people. Flipboard has expanded beyond that, of course. They, this is an, a list. I follow Robert Scoble's list on Twitter of tech mm -hmm. influencers. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. So, you create it, so if somebody creates a list, you can see what's going on uh, on that list. Uh, but it I also, also you can follow you. publications. So I'm following GigaOM, Wired, The Economist as well, uh, and TechMeme. So this is a very useful way of taking your Twitter feed and making it something that is actually, I read every morning. Quite visual. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually use Flipboard for Twitter, for Instagram, for my RSS feeds now because it can pull information in from Feedly. Um, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's the way that I read a lot of blogs. I, I mean, I don't know when the last time I went to some of my favorite food blogs. Couldn't even really tell you what their banners look like, but I read them every well, day. And I think this is what's happened to Google Reader and RSS readers in general, is people no longer do that. <laughs> RSS, their feed is now Twitter. Yeah. They, they use Twitter as a feed of information, mm -hmm. which means if, uh, if you're tweeting uh, statements or trying to have a conversation on Twitter, it may well be the person you're trying to converse with isn't even reading it that way. They may not even see your 
your your posts to yeah. them. So I think Twitter is in, in kind of an odd state where people like Lady Gaga, who use it very effectively and, and uh, actively, really use it as a broadcast medium. She follows a handful of people. Mostly it's just letting you know about her new album or whatever. Right. Um, uh, and then people uh, like me, I just, uh, I just tweet at haters because I just... I sometimes like tweet at haters. Fights. I like to. Then, I, I hope I mix it up with a right amount of, you know, professionalism and what is somebody professionalism. Though, if you don't have, if you are maybe a, maybe, a, maybe a little bit of a hey, watch my show. Everyone, yeah, I do. Mind. I do a lot of promotional stuff. What if? But if you're a normal person, you don't have something to promote. You know, you're just you know uh, some some guy or gal. Yeah. And you got four people following you on Twitter. Then it's a place to talk to your friends. Those four people. Well, yeah, and and you can follow as many people as you want. It's not always about who's following you. Well, it's that's about what who I'm you're thinking. following. That's what I'm thinking. Twitter I mean, is I, really about. I don't care that much. Uh, an information feed. about. I mean, unless I'm talking to them directly, who cares if somebody's following me or not? Right. If they follow me, I hope they're enjoying it. But I think but a lot I use of people. It as a place to get information for myself. The original idea of Twitter was it was kind of like text messaging, and that it was this communication medium, and I don't think that's really what it's ended up being. It's really a, f a bunch of informational feeds from individuals and brands that's, isn't it that's a that's a bigger component of it than ever yeah it wasn't it, it wasn't a component at didn't at used to be point. no no it's also a place to brag about stuff but that's a whole nother conversation i got a lot of braggy friends when any anybody yells at me i go look at their profile and i see they have 12 followers and, and then you go ha, nobody ha, ha. saw that except those 12 people sure yeah so i'm just gonna ignore you there's a there's a guy who keeps saying sarah lane you're the ratings killer of twit <laughs> Like he just says that like as if he at, knew he says like, well, like, right yeah I'm like mm, huh how does that work <laughs> and but like once every hundred days he really doesn't tweet at all that's he, all he says every once in a while he'll be like I hate her let me get back on but his hope is that because he at Sarah Lane'd you oh yeah he that knows you'll see it which you did I, I see everything I yeah. see everything that's yeah. that's that said to me but you're the only one seeing it because he doesn't have any friends no and that's why you're being uncool. <laughs> All right, so... Now that he, he knows you see it, I think you're going to see more of it, I hate to tell you. You know what? Bring it on, hater. I'm not scared of you. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> Don't hate the game. Hate the player. Right. No. Wait. <laughs> 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 hey, if you want to uh, follow along with all of our previous shows, subscribe to this show, or really look at any of the, you know, the apps or the, the stories that Leo and I talk about each week, go to twit.tv slash IPT. You can watch our past episodes right there in line. You can fall in love with the show all over again. All I mean, we're certainly in love again. with ourselves. Why yes. not? Join the flock, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a good time. You know, Leo, we're not going to be live on Thursdays much longer. Only really for less than two months now. In January, the week of January 6th, we move to Mondays at 11 a.m. Pacific, yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be your first show of the week. 1900 UTC. Think, think, just think about that for a second, guys. I'm hitting Leo at the end of a long slog. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of here. This but is he's my most, last show. Right now, it's my last show. He's of the mostly week. not. I'm getting a day off tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna get him first. Not really. What? Well, not really. My days off are Thursday and Friday. Monday's in the middle of my week. Oh, because you're here I on the weekend. I work Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. All right. Well. But think of no. You know what? Think of it as my first show of the week. I'm going to. It's the beginning. I want to feel like you're just gonna walk in. You know, it's just. Like I'm gonna be tap fresh. Dancing. I'm gonna be ready to go. Be fresh and clean. I'm it's gonna excited. be awesome. Until then, we are live on Thursdays at our usual time, 1 p.m. Pacific. But yes, starting at the first of the year, we're going to have Randy Dunn. It's going to be exciting. You know, I know it's a funny thing on Twitter. The more I tweet, the, the as soon as I feel. say anything, people stop following me. It's like they follow me until I say something. And then it's like, oh, you're gonna if you're going to be noisy, <laughs> I'm just going to unfollow you. I say one thing every three days, and they that's too much. Our show today brought to you by, I'll tell you this, Shutterstock.com. If I could embed... Shutterstock images in each and every one of my tweets. Actually, I could, couldn't I? You could. Maybe I ought to. Well, now that Twitter shows everything, you could just sort of, you know, there's inline images. See, when you blog, this is one of the advantages that an actual website has because you can put images there and it really, I think it brings the post to life. Sure. If you do a blog without an image, you, you just don't get the impact. Uh, who's going to read that? It's just a bunch of text. Yeah. Shutterstock has over 30 million royalty-free stock images. Let's blog about Turkey Day. I love it that we get turkeys and the Turkish flag. There. <laughs> Did you type turkey? Well, how would it know, right? It it's doesn't know. It's covering its bases. It's you can say turkey the country or turkey the bird. 
Or you could say, how about if we had a turkey flipping the bird? What about turkey sandwich? Oh, let's, let's see. see and survey says cranberries. Ooh. Ooh. Now, here's well, Ooh. don't do what don't do what Brian Ooh. just did and close that sign up box. You want to You want to sign up? Well, now we're going to be hungry, aren't Turkey. We? See, I don't see any cranberry sauce in there. Well, because it doesn't know it's Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. Oh, These it's are just all a, the turkey sandwiches it's just plain turkey. around the year. Yeah. Can you do turkey sandwich with cranberries? Yeah, why not? Why not? There's no reason not to do that. Shutterstock has the best search. By the way, if you do something, there it is. Check it out. Now we're talking. <laughs> Yum. You guys, this is a great example, though, of like, you say turkey, and then you say turkey sandwich, and then you say, nah, not but see, specific enough. If I, I want were, turkey sandwich if, with cranberries. If I were going to write a blog post on the perfect turkey sandwich, yeah. that's what I would search for. I'd exactly. use that. It'd make everybody's mouth water. Maybe it's like a how to how to make the perfect turkey sandwich mm. the day after Thanksgiving with all your leftovers. And you don't have to take a picture of anything no. because Shutterstock already has these beautiful images. By the way, you're not going to get the watermark, obviously. Now, here's the deal. You can make a free account. Uh, as you search around using the search engine, you'll get an offer for that. You don't need to give them a credit card. Just name a password. And then, uh, with that free account, you can collect images into light boxes. You can share those light boxes with other people. See that great uh, spectrum tool? It lets you say, I want... Purple turkey. You could choose the colors. I doubt there's purple turkey sandwiches, but you can choose the colors. And that's important if you're matching. Yeah, see, there isn't any purple turkey sandwiches. If you're matching the color scheme of your website or something like that. Shutterstock sources images from all over the world, puts them at your fingertips. Many of their contributors are professional photographers, artists, videographers. They review each image individually for content and quality. They say 20,000 images a day, but, you know, these guys are overachievers. This week alone, they've added more than 100,000 images. I mean, it's amazing. Well, I guess that's right, isn't it? Uh, sh actually, how many have they uh, added? It's at the bottom there. Um, you could choose it. Oh, 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 there's the video tab. That's that's me right there. That was you this morning. Good. I know. I know. I, I, can, uh, I can bench 280 pounds. Wow. So, uh, and I've got the video to prove it, baby. It's very... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. Sandwich good. time. Sandwich time. Video sandwich Shutterstock.com. Now, here's the deal. If you decide to buy, oh, man. you can buy individual image packs or do what we do, get the subscription. We have a 25 image a day subscription suitable for publications, things for like a that. Lot of, for a lot of people, that would be plenty. Well, for, yeah, companies. It's for like a company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see a lot of blogs that say courtesy Shutterstock on their uh, photos. Sure. Uh, iPad Today 1113. Use that offer code. iPad Today 1113. You'll get 25% off your new account. So 1113. 11, yeah, 1113, because 11, yeah. it's November 2013. Yeah. And uh, you can even tell your friends if you want. Shutterstock.com, give them the promo code 25% off. Good deal. So, Leah. You didn't know that? I thought you would be a, a, like a pro. I'm not online, one of the cool kids anymore. Online shopper. I've lost my edge in a big way. You can Google I'm just a sort product of and, to die. And, pro, and the words promo code, and you'll you know often get a promo code for that product. Well, it's worth it. That's anyway, great, great little duh tip. Yeah. Thank you, Abby. Yep. Hey, so did you hear that uh, even though the iPad Airs are not any cheaper than, you know, iPads have been priced in the past? Did you hear my Airs are blocking me on Twitter? <laughs> Those are you different iPad Airs. I heard about that yeah. already. Yeah. Got good one. Yeah, there's <laughs> the, there's. He ain't getting no hand-me-down iPads. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That guy's cut off. Uh, no, the iPad Air... Uh, cost between two hundred seventy-four dollars and three hundred sixty-one dollars to build. Wow, that's it's, a lot. Well, it's not that much if you compare to older iPad models. This is according to IHS data um, that was uh, published earlier. That's this week. who, by the way, I found out. That's how I found out that they're using an Exo screen. Was from IHS. Yeah. They take it down. I, exactly. I supply. They take it down. They tear it apart. They look at each chip and they say, "Oh." Ugh. Right. If Apple sells the iPad Air for between, what, 499 is the base That's model? That's the, the lowest, And yeah. then 929 for the model that I got? Yeah. Uh, it means that it... What? May, it means... Did I hear something in my ear? 128 gigabytes! Did I hear that you got the top of the line 128 gigabyte LTE iPad Air for $929? Did I hear that right? Well, the tax is over 1000 But it's also on a train to nowhere, so it serves me right. It's nice to have daddy's credit card, isn't it? Well, I have to know what kind of... At least you let me follow you I on Twitter. I have to know what kind of storage capacity Absolutely. What would it be like possible? to have 128 gigabytes? Exactly. This one is. Did you hear... 
No, mm -hmm. that's not right. No, I don't think so. It's they didn't have it then. Yeah. Did you hear that people are using iPad Airs like MiFi cards? A non-tech did a test, and then once again, this iPad Air, yep. more than 24 hours, you know, screens off. Right. Just using it to, to share internet access. So it was good you got that LTE. Next time you're on a train, turn it on and just say, hey, anybody wants to use my iPad Air, here's the passcode. Yeah. And 25 hours later. It'll still be gone. Yeah, it's pretty good. So if the if Apple sells the iPad Air for oh, yes. somewhere Sorry. between five hundred and a thousand dollars, let's say, we were talking. It means about it's that. making yes. uh, you know it's 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 better margin profits than ever. Hundreds of dollars on each unit that it sells. Well, that was one of the reasons. Because it's not as if it's bringing down the price and passing the savings along to us. That's not like no, Apple. They haven't dropped the price. No. But that's one of the things that uh, we noted in the quarterly results that were a little disappointing is the margins are going down. Mm -hmm. So it's nice they have. One of their most popular products is a higher margin yep. product. For this guy, uh, it seems that Apple knows what they are doing. Uh, the tablet's display, the most costly component, that's nothing new. Um, the, the display is the most costly. Yeah. How much? The screen say? costs 90 bucks. 90. The touch screen parts uh, set Apple back 43. So that's 130 whatever for. Yeah. So basically, the display is half of the cost of the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. So. It's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a nice display, but there you go. That's it's where mostly most of, battery. You saw our uh, tear. Did you see the tear down we did with uh, iFixes? Kyle Weens and iFixes. It was uh, on Sunday before Twit. We made no. a special. No. Twit special 173. Oh, you I can know. watch us take so apart the iPad. You should tweet iPad things Air. like that because then I would know. If I tweeted that, you would know. Yeah, I would kind of use this Twitter that, thing. That would be it's nice. all the rage with the kids, I hear. You know, at one point, you were the top tweeter back in 2008. I know. You saw that article? Yeah. The Guardian? Because Jammer B sent it to it's the me, entire company. Me, Kevin Rose. Barack Obama, Jason <laughs> Calacanis, and Robert Scoble, the top five Twitter users but in, number, in terms of number of followers. You know, I saw Calacanis the other night. He was very really? nice to me. Where did you see him? At a party. Huh. Yeah. There it is. Leo Laporte is now the top tweeter. What surprised me is when this was. It was, it was May 9, 2008. It wasn't that long ago. No. Twitter's really taken off in the last Top five Twitter, years. everybody. Oh, those were the days. And look at the followers. It's like 32,000. That seemed 32, like a lot. It did seem I like I probably a lot. had like 1,200, and I was like, wow, Ooh. 30. Ooh. Crazy. Party. So we mentioned earlier in the show that the new display is, is, is made of unicorns. And, uh -huh. and I, G, Z, O. Igzo. Igzo. Say, say it again. Indium galonide zinc oxide technology it is i have to look at Indian it again because i can't galonide remember. zinc oxide technology yeah yes and so instead of using uh i don't know what horse spit to make their displays they're now using a these rare earth materials and what it does is it gives you uh i think it says more it, nits. it gives you better electron mobility right uh, which allows for lower power requirements. It is it is a lower power display, that's right, yeah. And it also adds an improvement in the display of the iPad Air compared to its predecessor. Improved how, though? Did it say how? Well, more yes, crisp, it, it, more it actually nits? does. Compared to the fourth gen iPad, the screen reflects, reflectance oh, that's interesting. decreased by 23%. That's probably why you think it looks better. Yeah. The peak brightness increased by 7%. Yeah, more nits. Contrast rating for high ambient light increased by 32%. Oh, that's good. Absolute color accuracy and image contrast fidelity are very good, although although experts still say it's below the Kindle Fire, and our the latest model and are discussed in detail below. Blah 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 blah. Um, it's not much below. It's pretty close to the Kindle Fire in terms of uh, yeah. color gamut. Right. What's nice is we are really starting to get displays that are pretty accurate in terms of the color reproduction. So if you're a photographer and you want to use an iPad to preview pictures, for instance, it's a good it's a good choice. I like the Air a lot. I mean, for the, I just like a smaller iPad, but for a full-sized iPad, that is a great choice, I think. Yeah, so that's um that's that's what's uh that's what's going on with the uh the innards of the iPad Air. Certainly. And you can watch our teardown. Um that's it's great. Twit special 172 or and we interviewed him a little bit on uh, on uh, Twit as well. That's awesome. I didn't know you did that. You should yeah. tweet those things. At least Facebook them. Jeez, you know. There it is. There Good it is. Stuff. Kyle Weens and uh, Miro. I can't say his last name. Jurick? To yeah. Jurick? Jurich. Jurich. Okay. Ifixit.com. That was fun. We had fun. It's uh, all battery. You know, most of it is battery. It, the 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 yeah. the motherboard the where all the you know the processor and the memory yeah. and the graphics card. It's just like it's a just tiny this little, little L thing. thing. Yeah. 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 But not much bigger than an iPhone. And then the rest of it is all battery. That's why you get such great battery life on it. Yeah.
Hey, we got a um, it's sort of it's sort of a suggestion, but maybe it, maybe a question a little bit from Gil, who's a pastor over at the First Baptist Church of Stantonsburg. Hello, who says no on a recent Mac Break Weekly, which is our, our Mac focused show, but certainly to, uh, talk about uh, iPads and 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 the Apple ecosystem. Leo says he had a lot of people on his iCloud account so that they could share apps. Right. Gil says, my wife and I do the same thing, but Apple does allow you to use one account for all your iTunes purchases, like apps and music and movies, and then another for iCloud, which covers things like backup space, find my iPhone, FaceTime, etc. Right. All you have to do is go into settings and set up one account under iCloud and another under iTunes and the App Store, which works just fine, right. and on a Mac as well. I was complaining because we shared not only the iTunes account, but the iCloud account, which meant I had limited backup space because all of these devices were being backed up to the same uh, iCloud account. Uh -huh. but, it, but I found that it was easier for me just to buy more space on one account and let everybody use that iCloud account than to have each of these people have their own iCloud account, have to have a credit card and all that stuff for each of those accounts. I see. So w I know we do that. In fact, we, ca we can do that, and we do do that. We have, I don't know why we don't need to, but we have separate iTunes store accounts and separate iCloud accounts. Well, it's good if you want to share things like apps, but you know We want do share apps. But in this case, we also share iCloud. But if you were to want to find an iPad, Not anymore, for example, of you know, it's like it's nice to be able to He's section out certain areas of it. the no more cloud party time. experience. Mm -hmm. Party's over. <laughs> no, no more he, iCloud for you, Henry. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, Henry, I mean, he did it to himself. <laughs> I mean, that was quite a smackdown. <laughs> Twitter block. And uh, Dunn does raise an issue. You only do this with people you really know and trust because if you share an iCloud, you share all your data. Oh and uh, that's the other reason I do that because I can see Henry's photo stream. Yeah. So if you don't. It doesn't really he'd know matter so if I you follow know. you or you follow me on Twitter. I got your photo stream, kid. Oh gosh, I mean, there's so many clueless. people. I keep hearing stories about this. You know, I actually had to call him and say, Henry, to be clueless. I am on your photo stream. Please turn it off. Please, Please stop turn that. it off. I can't. I can't, I can't take this. it anymore. It's like reading <laughs> some sort of a really yeah, real time I felt really diary. guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And you should too. Everyone should be, I don't know. You know, the, the stuff I saw was very tame. Studying. I bet. Sitting around naked. Oh. That kind of stuff. Well, you know, we were all born that way. So, sure. you know, it's sometimes sure. it's just more comfortable mm -hmm. when you're studying. Hey, we got an email from Matt in Columbus, Ohio, who says, well, actually, well, I already know the answer because we talked about it a little bit. He says, hey, have you guys seen the iPad trade and promotion that Target is offering this oh, week? Oh, wow. Tell me about it. Well, I will. And actually, you know, it's only for a couple more days. So hopefully uh, everybody who is watching this and might this be able to, you to, watch to benefit. Yeah. yeah, or certainly, you know, as soon as possible, offering a minimum $200 trade in on any iPad model. I traded in my first gen iPad, 16 gigabyte last night. That's really a good price. $200 gift card. That's a store. good price. It is a great price. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, you, you have to use the... Cause you have to buy... Oh, I get it. So it's not like cash. You have to buy... But it doesn't have to be an iPad. You could buy it, it's, it's, it's anything the store. that Target sells. It basically gets... You get they sell a everything. Certificate. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess... I don't know. I'm a recent convert. To Target? Yeah. What did you use before? I don't know. Nothing. Uh, Walmart? No. I've never been to a Walmart. We don't have Walmarts here. Yeah. it's not. I'm not too good for it. I just don't know where I would go. I don't know right. where there is a Walmart. But there was never a Target either, and now there's one down the street from me, and I'm, yeah. I'm there. They, they sell food there. They sell everything. They sell They everything. sell everything there. If, but food, right next to the I know. Under, underwear section. Yeah, food and underwear. Yeah. I mean, what? That so, yeah, I, right I'm somehow. totally fine with a $200 yeah. gift certificate at, at Target. Yeah. Uh, uh, Target. By the way, somebody in the chat room says he tried to do that trade, and they wouldn't do it at Target. Do you have to go to the website first? Uh, I believe it's the targettradeinprogram.com. Ah. And that's how you, yeah, it, it's, they might not be equipped to just give you a gift certificate. Got it. Yeah. Got it. That's, okay. uh, that's the way you do it. Okay. Get at least $200 for any iPad traded in, in-store only. So I see where you could be confused. I believe that that's where you sign up, but then you actually have to, like, send, you uh. have to bring your iPad in. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, make sure you read the fine print and, and make sure that, that now, all the stores are participating. Now, F and Dunn is telling me if I bring my iPad Mini into Verizon, I can get $300 trade-in for it. That's pretty good. i got to think that neither well, Target nor... Well, but that's not a first-gen iPad. That's a yeah, fairly no, no, new device. But i got to think neither Target nor uh, um, Verizon expect to get the, recoup their money. They're just trying to get you in the yeah. door. And, and with any yeah. luck... 
buy a new iPad sure. from them. You're right? already there. You got they got yeah. a little goodwill. Yeah. Why yeah. not? Let's make a sale. Yeah. Hussein has a little duh tip, and mm -hmm. I think you're gonna be, oh no, this is not the duh tip that I think you're gonna be excited about, but some of you may benefit from this one as well. Hussein, this is, this is a good one. He says, imagine that you have a number of notifications on your lock screen. Maybe a combination of missed calls and emails and texts, and you want an easy way of clearing your lock screen without unlocking your phone or iPad, and then locking it again. You just swipe down uh, to bring down notifications. Yeah. And then when you swipe back up, your notifications will be gone. Does that make sense? I understood it because I have lots of, of course, I don't have any because I've opened up my iPad so many times during the show. But let's say, you know, I've, I've got, this is my lock screen, you know, and somebody has sent me some texts and I got some emails and I've got notifications turned on. So there might be like this long sort of barrage of stuff that I have to deal with. What Hussein is saying is sometimes you just want that cleared out. So then you go ahead and like open so up your clear iPad. So it out. And then, yeah, so what you do is, of course, you could open it up and then lock your iPad again. And but then he that says, will have cleared he it. He says, just go like this. But this doesn't work for, as you're seeing, calendar entries. Correct. And that's actually something that um, I learned the hard way because I have calendar entries also pushed uh, to notify me on a lock screen because I don't want to miss a calendar. Right. And that will not go away. So there's some exceptions. Right. But in general, for your apps. I see the weather. Yeah. The date and yeah. a calendar entry. Yes. And that is not going to get cleared out. Right. But if I had other notifications, are they completely gone? No, 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 no. He's saying it will, it will, it will uh, allow them to disappear from the list on your lock screen. He's basically saying, here's how you clear your lock screen without unlocking your iPad. It's not a security thing because you're not actually getting access to anything. Right, you're just, you're just clearing, clearing your You're clearing your lock screen. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. I okay. don't know. Why does anyone want to do anything? But you have an option now. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Well, I don't but understand. But that's probably because I don't understand the, 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 what would be, <laughs> would be on the lock. I'm not being hostile. I'm saying I don't understand it. <laughs> Uh, I just don't understand. What is it? Never mind. If you have, let's say you put, you pick up your iPad. You haven't used it for a couple hours. Right. On your lock screen, you've got all these notifications. Notifications. How do you get rid of them? So you're not clearing them. You're just clearing them so you don't see them in your lock screen. Right. But when you unlock it, they'll still be there. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't. Even, this is because I didn't know. Well, they they won't be there. You, you're not going to get them on top of your home screen. They will still be on your notification center. They will not be on your lock screen anymore. It's just one of those things. It's too easy, obviously, for just, me to understand. Just one of those things. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know what we should talk about? What? 99 Designs. I like 99 Designs. You know I do. That's where we got our great T-shirt design a couple of months ago that was really a bestseller. Uh, 99 Designs hooks you up, your business, with over a quarter million designers who are ready, willing, and able to get to work for you. Um, it's a great uh, thing for designers who have some downtime. They have some unused spare cycles. Uh, that's why they're a quarter of a million great designers. Actually, 260,521 to be precise. Great designers there. They're waiting for you to put up a contest. You put up a contest saying, I need a new logo or a mobile app design or I need a, maybe a new business card, a t-shirt design. Look at this. This is a mobile app design and uh, some gorgeous designs. So there's 36 six entries, 13 different designs. And the, uh, the person who was looking for the design uh, picked the person he liked and he paid $895. It's a great deal. Not just mobile apps, but landing pages, uh, menus, you know, marketing collateral of all kinds, 99 designs. I think sometimes people uh, don't realize how talented designers are, think they can do it themselves. And you can always tell something that was designed by somebody who's not a designer. You look at a, an app or a website and you go, boy, that, that, that's, not, oh, that's not attractive. Oh, yeah. Does, there is a real art, literally, to being a great designer. That's why you got to get 99designs on your side. Now, if you visit 99designs.com slash iPad today, that's nine, the number nine, the number nine, designs.com slash iPad today, you'll get a $99 power pack of savings. Absolutely free. The power pack gives you more designer time and attention. 99 Designs will bold, highlight, and feature your design product, a project in their 99 Designs marketplace, and you're going to get about twice as many uh, design offers. So that's a good deal. Visit 99designs.com slash iPad today. And we thank 99 Designs for their support of iPad today.
Great place to go to get your designs done. We've got some interesting feedback from Van Zek, who says, I stood in line 8 a.m. on Friday to purchase a new iPad Air. It was an upgrade from an iPad 2. I'm enjoying the lighter weight, very noticeable. The smaller dimensions, which are more convenient than I expected, and the overall increased zippiness. I have noticed, though, that the screen seems softer somehow. He says the screen feels good, it's very responsive. I mean, physically, it like a, it's soft touch? has a slightly cushioned feel to it. He says, I think I like it, but is it new? Well, did let it, me touch yours. Did it happen during, you know, the couple of iPad refreshes that he missed? Because he was going from an iPad 2. He's right. Really? Hard, soft. Really? Well, let's do an A-B comparison. Don't tell me. Sh shuffle it around. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. Mix them all around and see if I can tell you which one is the iPad third generation and which okay. one is the Air. I'm going to touch. Okay. That's the Air. Yeah, you're right. It's different. Weird. I don't Wait, know why. Maybe me... it's more flexible. It, it Maybe there's something different. Maybe the glass is I feel is no thick. difference. Well, wait hmm. a second. I can't tell if I... I can't. It's, I it's definitely I different. I, I don't think I feel the difference. It, well, it's subtle. But I don't have actual finger. <laughs> what is that, your prosthetic limb yeah, you're like, using? Well, I don't think you could tell the difference. It's like the movie Seven. You know, um, you I don't know. Maybe that's imaginary. Sometimes psychologically you can get it set up. But but I just did that blindfold AP test, and it did seem to did seem to I could tell which one was which. We should do that 20 times uh, to really see if it works. Sure, yeah. Well, Van Zek, I don't know. Maybe you've hit on something. It's It's not mm -hmm. something that I've heard from anybody else. And again, he says, I, I think I like it. I, it's just something that I've noticed. Uh, yeah. And maybe it made, again, he was going from an iPad 2. This is this I'm is thinking, and Evan Dunn's saying there this might be too. Even more of a difference. The glass is more flexible because it's a little thinner, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You saw that Apple is investing a huge amount of money in a new sapphire plant, sapphire glass plant. Uh, in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I did is it? Read Ninety-five about that. million, some huge amount of money. Yeah. And th now this, the reason is, uh, this, these are using Corning's Gorilla Glass. In mm -hmm, fact, mm -hmm. Corning, the company that makes the glass that is used not only now on iPhones and iPads, even though Apple doesn't really tout that, uh, but it's used on every touch device out there because it's solid. You know, it's hard to scratch. And this is always a property of glass that was a little challenging. Is it's so easy to shatter it, right? Yeah. But somehow. With Gorilla Glass 1, 2, and now Gorilla Glass 3, they've really made it uh, solid. But, you know, it's Corning. In fact, Corning was actually making Gorilla Glass for a while. And, and according to Walter Isaacson in the Steve Jobs biography, they were about to shut the plant down when Steve Jobs came to them and said, how much Gorilla Glass can you make? <laughs> and it was for the new iPhone. And it brought... Corning's Gorilla Glass business out of the closet. Oh, they yeah. were making lots of money. But now, uh, there's nothing harder than sapphire glass. Um, in fact, on very expensive watches, you'll often see uh, sapphire on the crystal. Right. And um, I think it's interesting that Apple has just bought this company and is starting to crank out sapphire. I don't know. Un I would guess unbreakable it's... Unbreakable eye devices? Yeah, I would guess it's a watch. I would think that you'd be right. The, the, the bullets of sapphire that they make are not big enough to be uh, on a glass panel. Yeah. For even for an iPhone, but they are big enough to be a uh, yeah. watch face. On a small, very interesting. Very interesting. Leo. Yeah. We got another email from John in Dunnellan, New Jersey. Dunnellan, New Jersey. He says, "I want to pass along how I used my iPad and my Slingbox on Halloween." Slingbox isn't even a sponsor of us uh, today, but I just thought it was. Well, we love Slingbox. I, it's fine. We I don't do, mind and I, I thought it was a cool, cool story. He says. Yeah. Uh, I used my sling box on Halloween as follows. I greeted my trick-or-treaters, there are around 200 overall, you got a busy neighborhood, on my front porch, but to pass the time between visitors, I had my iPad in my lap connected to my sling box, and I watched a bunch of shows that I recorded on my DVR. That was uh, one week ago. Last, Thank you. Last Thursday was Thank you for uh, patronizing our fine sponsors. Yes. You get this show for free. We do, a pretty, I think, a pretty good job of producing it, except for Sarah. In high definition video, are we <laughs> just teasing? It. She's the most expensive. She's like the Gorilla Glass of the show. She's the most expensive component. She's the digitizer <laughs> and the LCD panel. Yes. Boom together. Uh, 
but thank thanks to our great sponsors we built the studio we've got the we, we and i think we do a pretty good job and but it's very expensive we spend millions of dollars a year and so it's thank you i'm glad you patronize yeah. uh, slingbox and our other well sponsors. and i think that that's just it's they a good pay for it. you know when we when we talk so about slingbox or really any way to you know watch uh, content on your iPad, that's one of these situations where it's like, I never would have thought about it, but of course, it makes perfect sense. Yep. Of course. Halloween. Halloween You've gotten was softer, saved. too, I think. Oh, gosh. Yeah. How I ever? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I'm pretty... Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Treacherous ball of steel. Wow! Look at those guns. Like Madonna. Holy cow. I don't know. It's like, I'm just getting fatter, so I might as well just get bigger. Do you lift? I lift a little. I don't, I don't even really know what that means. You know, you do bench press, you do uh, uh, no. biceps, do you do kettlebells? No. I don't know how to use those. <laughs> those, are, those look really... I see people using it at the gym, and I think, that's dangerous. What if they let go? It would go flying. I've actually looked up online tutorials, and, you know, there's iPad apps. Well, oh, there's with YouTube regime, and all that stuff. Regimens. Yeah, that Tony... Regimes. What was that Tony... Uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. That's yeah, yeah. A, the I, Fitstar. I, Fitstar is fabulous. Oh, so good. Fabulous. But the kettleball still, I mean, I'm kind of joking. I understand how fitness equipment works for the most part. But kettleballs, I'm afraid I'll throw on my back. Me too. I just, I stay away from those. They're they just swinging seem them weird. Around. Yeah, there's something weird dangerous. about them. We got an email from, so many emails this week. Thanks to everybody, by the way. Andrew wrote in and said, this is the duh tip I think you're going to be really excited about. Okay. He says, I found a keyboard fix. For Leo's auto capitalization yeah, problem. Yeah, because I hate the uh, iOS keyboard. I hate it. I admit it. So go to settings. Yeah. Then go to general. Yeah. Accessibility? No. Scroll no. down to keyboard and Ooh. select it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keyboard. There yeah, you go. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just simply turn off auto capitalization. Okay. What does that mean? And then, I don't know. Now type something. You're saying that if I turn that off, I'm going to have a lower case. Does he even understand what my problem is? Let's let's see. I'll I'll go back to pages. Looks exactly the same to me. Oh. He doesn't understand what I'm talking about. Oh, he thought you he, meant. So he here's didn't the, I'm going to say it, it again because capitalize after a period. Apple should fix this. Yeah, that's what that is. If you hit. Oh. Yeah, if, if it's appropriate place, beginning of a sentence for capitalization oh, and auto capitalize. Andrew. He what what I don't like is just the keycaps are all capital letters, just like a typewriter or a. Computer and I understand on a computer a typewriter that makes sense, but it's a digital keyboard. They could have it be lower. I, I just missed the signal that this is lowercase or uppercase. I have to go always look over here and see that. That's just subtle. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if this were lowercase and then I hit this, it goes to uppercase. I mean, when I hit numbers, well, that is it goes to numbers. Happens. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have the capability, Apple. Now, double tap that. Go back to your ABCs. Yeah. And double tap that, um, double tap your shift key. That's sh caps lock. Okay. So, so this is so normal. So auto capitalization caps only caps applies to it just doesn't just change. like proper I think he misunderstood. Uh, with all due respect, I think you misunderstood my complaint. Well, that's all so right. I'm turning it's, it back on because I actually like auto I guess if you really like typing in lowercase, but you also like punctuation, you know this where is a great little tip It really affects me. What? Is where? when I'm typing in passwords because, of course, mm -hmm. you can't see, you know, the, you only briefly see the letter you see asterisks. Yep, yep. And I do cap, as most, as everybody should, I do passwords that have a mixed case, uppercase, lowercase, and randomly, right? So I, it's, I really need to see the key I'm hitting and whether it's lowercase or uppercase. If it's all uppercase, but I'm really typing in lowercase, if I notice, it's good, but it's too easy. So I make far more password mistakes on an iOS keyboard than I do on an Android keyboard. Just that simple. Yeah, I actually there's there are certain passwords that I feel like I I'm typing in constantly, and yeah. it's the it's the upper thing the that always case. gets me. You see, it always gets me. People think I'm being nitpicky, but uh, I think this is a fundamental user interface flaw, and I don't understand why they didn't fix it in iOS 7. I thought they would. Well, we've got a question. This is that, this truly is this is an Ask Leo question, and this is I mean I already know the answer, but it's probably worth. Bringing up again, because many of you might be new iPad owners, Steve in Greenville, South Carolina says, why do I sometimes get the message while browsing YouTube on my iPad that says, this video is not able to be viewed on a mobile device, please view later on a PC? He says, what makes the difference? They, the content provider can do that. There's a switch. Yes. Why they would do that baffles me. At this date? Uh, if this you upload age? a video to YouTube, is there some reason you wouldn't want somebody on mobile to watch it? 
I don't understand. I think once upon a time, you'd be like, eh, it's going to be... It'll look bad? It'll look bad, uh, and it's not going to render uh, properly, and you yeah. know, it, it, a long time ago, people were not even using the YouTube app. They were just going to like m.youtube.com type of thing. It drives and, me crazy. And the content owner would be like, no, let's, Don't get, you hate that? let's get the full experience for you. No. At, at this point... No reason. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. And nobody wins. You're making your users unhappy. Yeah. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that's all the feedback. Well, I mean, we have a lot of feedback, but I think we should probably stop there. We've, 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 done we, enough. we've fed ourselves quite a bit. We do want to hear from you, though. We love hearing from you. We love when you write us, you tweet us, you call us. You send us voicemails. You can write us at iPad today at twit.tv. Our voicemail number is 757-504-IPAD. Yeah, that's how you spell iPad. <laughs> you had to think about you that. Can send us, I know, I did. You that, know, was so, it's, that happens sometimes. It and we just were like, happens. isn't that the weirdest word, iPad? iPad. Is that even a word? What kind is of that word even, is that? That's actually iPad. the weirdest word I've ever heard. So weird. Uh, or if you want to be super cool, you could always make a video, talk about an app or something like that. Try to keep it to 30 seconds or less so we can play it in the show. Upload that video somewhere like YouTube. Send us the link. That'd be cool, too. Thanks in advance. We love all of you. Uh, thanks for making our show that much easier to put together each week. I love audible.com. Well, that makes two of us. I don't have to say that uh, twice. I think you know I love Audible.com. Now I've said it twice. <laughs> because Audible.com is a bookstore with uh, over 150,000 audio books. And I love listening to books. And that's partly because there's a lot of downtime in my... I love reading, okay? But there's a lot of downtime in my day where I just can't hold a book when I'm driving a car, when I'm at the gym. Yeah. Uh, swinging kettlebells. Yep. I... Hold a book and a kettlebell, that's a recipe for disaster. So you you can't read, but wouldn't it be nice if you could get reading done during that time? That's why Audible. I don't go anywhere without Audible. In my car, on my uh, iPad, on my uh, iPhone. Now, the great Audible app makes it easy, too. Your entire library is here. You can uh, listen to any book, download any book, and listen to it. They have these great badges now, which is really fun. They keep track of how much time you spent listening. You can even you know earn stack size badges and things like that. These are all the badges. Um, I just I think Audible is a great way to spend that time that would normally be downtime reading, learning, enjoying fiction, nonfiction, history, thrillers, mysteries, classics, even great courses now. You can get those college lecturers, the best in the world. Teaching is so, all sorts of great stuff. Yeah, I want you to try Audible, and we've got a special deal. Because I know if you've never tried an audio book, you might be a little, mm, I don't know, do I like this? If you visit audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today, you can sign up for the gold account. That's the book a month account, but your first month's free. If you cancel on the first 30 days, you'll pay nothing. But you do get to keep that book because you get a free book. The subscription is a book a month. Plus, by the way, the audio digest of the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal delivered each day to you. I am a fan. I've talked about it many times. Uh, before you see the new Hunger Games movie, you should probably read the second volume of the Hunger Games. I think the books are oftentimes better than the original. Before you see the second Hobbit movie this Christmas, you should read The Hobbit. And they have so many wonderful uh, editions of The Hobbit. Audible.com. That could be your free book. Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Um, I just love it. I know you will, too. And we thank them so much for supporting all of our shows. Audible has been one of our uh, flagship sponsors since almost day one. Sarah must be a little chilly. Well, I'm feeling better now that I've got my cool hat. Um, I've got it down nice and low uh, so that... Are you missing a hat? I don't want to wear this hat. I wore it last week. Oh, you sure did. Of course, now I look like Zorro, so maybe I do You kind of look... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, you know, you get some, I don't know, what does he have? A whip? Is it a whip? He has a whip and a sword. It depends on which Zorro. Oh, wait, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. There's two Zorros? No, well, there's the later George Hamilton Zorro who has both a whip and a sword, but the traditional Zorro is just a sword. Zorro was George Hamilton? George Hamilton was Zorro in the oh movie. Oh, my God, Zorro the I gay love blade. George Hamilton. Zorro, you've not seen Zorro the Gay Blade? No. It is very funny. Zorro the Gay Blade? <laughs> That's what it's called. No. Yes, indeed. I haven't seen that. Could you pass me a mustache, somebody? Just pass me a mustache. If all I'm right. going to be Zorro the Gay Blade, let's go all the way. Let's. Let's. Agreed. 
<laughs> Not gay, bi curious. Well, you know, sure. No, that was the name of the movie. Because there's anything. Zorro like the bi curious blade doesn't really have the same. Ring no. To it. Do we actually have a mustache? Is someone getting you a mustache? Oh, okay. We do. <laughs> Wonderful. You, you didn't believe me. I know. I thought we'd be waiting all day, in fact. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. George, George Hamilton. See, I only, and by the way, I only know elderly tan. George Hamilton, who I'm obsessed with. Oh, well, you would like, I can't believe if you love George Hamilton, as I, I do. I mean, I know he's an old movie star, but I only he's know not him that as old. Like, but like, you know, he's, he's not like. Errol Flynn or something. I'm saying he's been around, but I know him well, as, you apparently know, apparently he really gets around. I didn't know this part. very tan. Yeah. Very tan. Well, didn't Paul Block know him and do a show with him or something like that? Uh, that Our old about producer right. on the screensavers. That sounds about right. Yeah. So, Leo is putting on a mustache. I'm not, well, not uh, really sure why. If Although, you're going to do it, you go all the way. You really are like Zorro all of a sudden. This is kind of weird. Can you bring me my sword? Oh, God. <laughs> I, hello. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm Zorro. <laughs> okay, now that's enough. So this is the part of the show where Leo and I just really—I mean, all pride is lost. Oh, it's oh that happened. It's flushed. Oh, that happened. So many, so many moons ago. Uh, in order to hopefully make some of you smile. Wow, we really have a—that's a crazy sort. That's more like Game of Thrones type styles. All right. Well, careful with that thing. All right. All right. I could shred your clothes in seconds without you even knowing it into a Z shape. <laughs> the clothes themselves would be shredded into a Z shape, or you would shred a Z shape out of them. You don't even know. Oh, this is great. This is pretty great. I think that's a perfect match. Yeah, you look just like him. <laughs> so this is the part of the show where Leo and I put on weird outfits to talk about two apps that we really, really like. We call them app caps, and this is our app cap awards. Are you ready? Okay. So uh, my app cap was actually suggested by, uh, gosh, what's the name of the company? Ooh, 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 I forget. Uh, Snickerdoodle. They Snickerdoodle, my favorite cookie. It's a very good cookie. It's a very good cookie. I agree with you. It's excellent. Actually, cookie. the developers uh, wrote in and said, hey, you should look at our app. We get a oh. lot of these. Oh. But I actually thought to myself, you know, I like this app. It's a universal app, which is always... That's always a plus in my book. And the idea is, is that it gives you a very clear indication of how you get a specific color. Now, this could be something because you're studying color theory. This could be something because you want to get a particular type of paint and you want to go into the paint store with per, uh, specific percentages of what paints you mix in together oh, to get a particular color. Oh, how interesting. Or, yeah, or just something. So. So for example, we're looking at a blue here and it's telling me, okay, well there's 19% yellow, 40% cyan, 40% uh, white. There's no red in this color at all. So the blue background we're seeing is that mix? Correct. Ah. This is exactly the blue. And you say, well, where does that blue come from? Well, I took a picture actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, from, wow. From earlier, this was just my, this is like my desk, there's my <laughs> Tupperware. And then over here on Ayaz's desk was a blue piece of paper. You like that blue. And I was like, yeah, let's just choose that blue. That's twit blue. That's the twit blue. It is kind of like yeah. twit blue, right. Or I could say, wow. well, I really, yeah, like it's kind of neat. Or like, I really like the silver on the MacBook. I'd like to use this somehow. Wow. You know, you kind of find like, That's okay, neat. go ahead and select it. And then it says, oh, okay, well, this particular that. gray that you've just chosen is 18, 22, Look 31, and 27. Okay, well, that's fine. Or you could say, well, I don't really have a photo. I just want to start from scratch. So then I say, well, I want it to be like a certain amount of red. Oh, interesting. Look at this. You know, but not just red, because I really be like fun. yellow. It's too bad they don't give you the Pantone number for the color. Yeah, it is. That they is true. You probably have to license that. Actually. Yeah, it, there's, there's a variety of ways that you can kind of mix and match colors here. I also think it's interesting. Let's say you were... Dial up the white, man. Dial yeah. it up. Which is weird, up. because a lot of people don't realize that white, you know, it's it plays such a huge component. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, it looks like a totally different color. Sorry, my... My, uh... I'm being... Careless. It's not that the app isn't working that well, but it's it's really just the difference between light well, and white. white you, what if you were getting into I don't know watercolors? Could you take that picture of George Hamilton, measure the color of his tan, and yes. then make me some makeup to match? Yes, I could. I could do that. I could absolutely do that. So you could take it from a photo that you have in your camera roll. You could take it from just a photo that you go ahead and take. I could take any photo right now, blah, 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 you know, figure that out. It's um, kind of like a, like a handheld colorimeter. Yeah, it 
is. You can color, really you can neat. pick a color just from you know this yeah. this little color uh, picker. Yeah, yeah, the little color picker. Yeah. Uh, uh. You can say I love this color. I'm going to go ahead and add oh, it to my favorites. Oh, Sarah Yellow. Right. You know, you go to my yeah. settings and I say, let's go to my favorites. Oh, I had I as blue from earlier. Oh, I That's love what it. I saved I for love myself. It. In my settings, I can, you know, it can you can display the paint amount. It, you may not like that. Some people are like, mm, percentages are scaring me. But but uh, in general, I think it's like a handy dandy little tool. It's two bucks, one ninety nine in the App Store, and it's made by a company called Snickerdoodle at snickerdoodle.co. Very nice. Oh, God. I love it. I do too. Now I'm going to show you mine. Oh, I can't and it's the, wait. It's not an app. Oh. It, I couldn't help but notice you admiring my wallpaper isn't it attractive actually i like it a lot yeah and i think it looks really cool and it's parallax wallpaper so it's slightly larger than the screen so as you it's hard oh. to tell on camera but as you move the parallax screen it's hard to show on camera but yeah isn't that funny but people have seen it on their ios 7 devices for the most part people and this know is what it this is. is the wallpaper i'm using so for seven dollars you can get a bunch of these i you know do you have the link because i don't i can't do that while i'm doing the wallpaper if you can show us yes the uh, uh brian you the, have it. the link there you for go. this it's the parallax wallpaper kit from 50 foot shadows and i think that's 50 foot shadows.com is that right brian I think it's dot net dot net okay yeah. So I downloaded them all and put them on here, and there are a, just a ton of them. So as you know, in settings, if you go to settings, wallpapers, and brightness, uh, you can choose your uh, wallpaper for both lock screen and home screen. There are 100 wallpapers in here, and they're gorgeous. Why don't you look at a few of these, Sarah, and see if there's one you like. And they're, they're specifically taken with an eye towards... Uh, making them work in a parallax situation Ooh, yeah which means a there's a lot stuff. of bokeh a lot of uh in focus out of focus i've been using the mixers i mean i really think those are those are gorgeous so there's an there's another one now you can move and scale these but i wouldn't uh because they're really designed for the uh, ipad air um and like here's here, like this is this is another mixer oh yeah i like that i love that now see i could choose that for my home or lock screen seven dollars for all of them i'll make it my home screen for a hundred for a hundred. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, I like wallpaper packs. You remember our friend Trey Ratcliffe did his stuck course. in custom. See, isn't that a nice wallpaper? And now, again, you can't really, yeah, you just can't see the parallax. You can a little bit. A little, there, it, a when little I do bit. that, you can see it. Yeah. So it just gives it a little depth, and it's a little nicer, and frankly, the Apple wallpapers are kind of limited, so have something a little bit different. Those are nice. 50footshadows.net. That's right. And 50 uh, uh, spelled out. F-I-F-T-Y. Yeah. Foot. O-O-T. Shadows. 50 foot shadows dot next parallax wallpaper packs who knew no one knew well now i know zorro oh wow <laughs> yes oh my <laughs> i'm here to say uh. your money or your life <laughs> This is the worst thing. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. I have to leave. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching iPad today. You're all the best. We'll see you back here next week. Yes, we will. Oh. oh.